<laughs> My nieces fail to read the room a lot, but uh, they're nine. They shouldn't have to uh, have any sort of filter. That's, that's, that's one of the benefits of being nine years old and being a twin, as they are. You just get to say whatever you want and not be cognizant that there are feelings at stake when you say shit to adults, you know? They're just like, I'm just gonna think it, and then I'm gonna fucking say it. And I don't really care how it affects you, because I'm nine, and there's not much I have to do in my day other than say shit that might be offensive or uh, hurtful to your heart, you know what I'm saying? It's a cool place to be at nine. Just fucking here it is, and fucking here it comes. <laughs> And they do that all the time. It was dead silent in the car, uh, driving them to swing practice, and one of them just goes, Uncle Adam? I go, yeah, what's going down? She goes, I'm, I'm sorry you don't have a wife yet. <laughs> I was like, aw, <laughs> mind your fucking business. <laughs> the hell, I thought we were on the same team. <laughs> I don't tell you how to color, stay in your lane, fuck. <laughs> I saw you make a tree purple last week. I didn't say shit. <laughs> think that's gonna come back to bite you? Any other uncles out there just uh, doing their best job to make these kids feel like you should be their parents? You guys want three Slurpees at 7 p.m.? Yeah, you're the coolest. I know, see ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Gotta go to bed. <laughs> they take advantage of that blind support though, man. Jesus Christ. They manipulate, press your buttons, got little catchphrases that tug at the heartstrings. I thought you were cool. Oh man, that hurts so bad because all you want to do is be cool to them. And now they're telling you, well, fucking maybe you're not, you know? <laughs> Starts off slow. Can we have our iPads this weekend? No, your mom said you can't. <laughs> I thought you were cool. I'm just like, fuck that shit, I am. Who told you that? <laughs> Where are you getting your facts from? <laughs> it's only gonna get worse as they get older. Uncle Adam, will you buy a spear? No. <laughs> I thought you were cool. All right, you know what? Fuck the beer, let's do shots, all right? Who's partying tonight? <laughs> Want a four loco, chase it with a plan B? Let's hit that monkey bar, all right? You're driving, by the way. I don't care if you're nine. Figure it out. You wanted this. They're cool, I'll do anything for them, you know? Because they, again, they respect me, and that can be good cop, bad cop. They love what I do, they start to recognize that stand-up is a job, more or less, and they pitch me jokes. It's insane, right? It's just so cute, like, and they're different personalities. One of them is a little more, I can just, you know, bouncing off the wall. She's got a more creative uh, imagination. And she was like, Uncle Adam, I got a joke for you. What did the poop say to the fart? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. She's like, gross. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, hilarious. Not bringing it to San Fran, but I, I get why that's funny. The other one's a little more cerebral, a little more uh, image driven. <laughs> Uncle Adam, what's a, what's a taco's favorite dance? I don't know. The salsa. <laughs> yeah, fucking jackpot. <laughs> Probably closing with that. And then uh, the other one felt outdone. So she's like, I got another joke. I was like, ooh, all right, yeah, let's go back and forth. What do you got? Okay, what the boyfriend say to their girlfriend? Ooh, um, uh, I, don't, I don't know, what? Um, nothing, because the boyfriend saw the girlfriend when they're at dinner, like a, a picture of her ex on Instagram. And he was like, what was that? And she was like, I don't, what do you mean? And he's like, I just saw you like uh, Steve's picture and I didn't know you were still talking to him. And she was like, yeah, he's, I told you, we reconnected because he got sick. And so I'm trying to show emotional support because he just got done with his second round of chemo. And I thought that was like a, a, a chivalrous move on my part was to reach out and be like, I hope everything's going well. It, does, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Get it? <laughs> there we go. It was, um, that was topical. 